Right, hello there my culty friends. I'm attempting now to show you uh, a pique using a zigzag stitch. It's not a satin stitch. A satin stitch would be much closer than this. It's a little bit wider. On my machine it's stitch length one and stitch width three. There's a, a sample of a piece I, I sort of tried that stitch out on. And then once I got what I wanted, I changed it to the to the colour that uh, that blends in. I've already started on this design. And I've tried to set up my camera so I can still use my knee lifter and get get uh, get so. And I hope my hands aren't going to be too much in the way. You want your needle to come down just over the edge of your applique stitch onto the background. And I've got a wadding on the back here. Um, you need to put some kind of stabiliser or at the very least use some spray starch on the on the back of the fabric because you're going through a single layer there otherwise. Um, you can use needle down if you've got it so your needle always stays down in your stitch. Mine will automatically start with that. If you've got a knee lifter which lifts the presser foot, use that. If not you'll have to stop and just lift it from the back as you go along. So I'm going to start this now and I'm trying to go around, I want to go around the inner one first so I'll just put the needle up and move that across a little, just a touch. I've, I've lift the foot there, move it and you want this needle to come down just off the edge of the applique work. So I'm going to go, normally my hand will be there, but I'm trying to keep it out of the way to show you. And you stitch round and you can manoeuvre your work slowly as you go round because you can just push it slightly. And if you want to do a um, stop on the outside, raise the presser foot and just move it a little as you're coming around the corners. So keep a nice smooth edge and stop again there just lift the press I thought you could do that from the back I'm using my knee lifter I'm just moving it around a bit but stopping on the outside of these corners every few stitches as you can see I stitch quite slowly just stopping it every few again. It's quite a big curve we're going around here but always stopping on the outside. So I'm on the brown outer one now and I can just maneuver that by holding this that slight curve. You see it moving around? You would have two hands on there, as I said. And you just want your needle to just drop off the edge of that applique piece. It's a bit more of a curve now, so I need to actually move the fabric. I'm using my open toe applique foot for this work, so I can see exactly where my needle is falling. Always stopping on the outside of these outer curves. I'm coming up now to a, the inner curve of the heart. So I'm going to stop now on the inside of that. Because that's an inner curve. Move that out. and then start start to go up the other side okay I'm ready to start another piece now and I wanted to show you um, raising the bobbin thread I was a bit lost there and I finished that one this one's to there um, so it's I mean I've got a video on this anyway so you put your uh, Foot down, needle down, needle back up, holding on to the top thread and just pull it up. 
put it behind your work. You don't get any of that nasty gunk on your work then. Okay. Couple of stitches in the spot. Hopefully. There we go, and away we go. I'm going to go up here now. And I'm going to do this leaf. So I'm going to go up this leaf. So moving this slowly with by holding that hand still. By holding that hand there, you're slowly moving the work around. I'm helping it with my right hand as well. Look, just and always the thread just just dropping off the edge of the applique work. You know, the other way to do this is to stop on the outside and just move it slightly as you go along. When we come up to the top now. Top. I'm going to stop on the outside, then I'm going to move the work right around so that the next stitch is going to come down over the stitches I just did, and then another stitch, and then move it around again, ready, and that will come across the top, ready to make my way down the other side. <coughs> 